So hey guys, I'm here behind the milling machine and I kind of just wanted to take a look at the automatic oiler here. Right now, every time I have to run the machine, I have to run over here behind and pull this lever so I can get pressure. And as you can probably see, it's not holding pressure very well. If I pump that fully to about here or something like that, focus please. It will hold pressure for quite a while and I can't really, can really figure out if it's losing all the pressure when the spindle gets down to a certain point or if it's just falling slowly until a certain point and then just kind of droops off. I have no idea. Not really great that it can hold pressure. So I just kind of just kind of took a look at it and almost instantly I see this weird stuff and this doesn't really seem right if you can see the screw I don't know if this is the correct thing anyway but it kind of seems like it's rubbing up against so I think I'm going to turn on the machine and open up the hell pin for lube low check the state remove this without activating the pump of course and then checking the state again to see if it turns on lube low I haven't actually tested that connection yet. I have tested air off or air low, and that's working fine. As I could see here from the, well, the loop goes into a manifold, which splits off into the weird meter here and off into the rest of the machine. So I just want to look if that's on purpose or what it is. Maybe see if the if I can check the pump state in any way. Alternatively, I'll have to remove this and check with the multimeter if it gets power when the spindle turns on. The way it's configured, there's two relays, forward and reverse, on the spindle, and those should activate the pump. Well, those relays should also activate the relay for the pump. So that's today's task. I'll come with some updates. When I know more. So just turn on the machine and open up Health Show. Just open up the pin for Lublo, these three. So next thing I'm going to do is just take this, lower it, just pull it off and see if the state changes. So I'll get back in a second. So I fixed the the small weird well whatever. Just about to check the loop low sensor. And I'm all alone. I have no one to check the status for me. If any one of you knows how, it would be really nice to have a history like, uh, like uh, well, at so and so o'clock, the sensor went on and off and whatever, whatever. But I have other means. I have a camera. And by the way, can I just say how much I love these hard cases? Just the sound when you open them. When you're closing them, just sounds so dangerous, like you're just about to take out a huge military grade something. In reality, it's just a cheap Nikon camera. Let's just lay you there. That doesn't look sketchy at all. Oh, hello. There we go. Jesus Christ. So let's just set it up. Just like that. Alright. Just click record, record. Let's go behind. We can open the door again. Let's get some light. So let's see if I can show you what I'm working on. This is going to be a little hard. One handed. So let's just make sure one of them is fully seated. You can see the small nylon thing is gone. It's actually the cover for the handle. So that was nice to not have that lit dirt and debris in. This is going to be a bit sketchy, so I'm just going to hold you guys. Have 
to leave the camera laying somewhere. So now I'm just going to take it down, not below this one, but this one. So you can see it will float. So that should be enough. Let's just do it a couple of times more. There we go. And let's get let's get this tightened down again. There we go. All tightened up again. Still no pressure, but that's fine. So let's see what's the deal here. No, what's going on? No, damn it! <laughs> no, the door. Oh bummer. All right, let's. Oh, that's fine. We just re, just really need to see the status change. Damn it. Well, I'm going to go back and do the same thing, and then come back and show you the video. So, see you in a bit. So I just redid the thing we did before and I just noticed something very different. Now when you pull the lever, it doesn't stay up and it doesn't get more pumped than that. And I don't know if this is just a coincidence, but it doesn't seem to fall. So was that the issue? I don't believe so, but let's hope. Could also be that I got some air in Oh no! Uh, well, that's probably the issue. So I wasn't careful enough. <sighs> well, I've bled the system once. Shouldn't be that difficult to do again. Well, let's check the signal. Click play. <laughs> oh! There we go. All right. <laughs> bop, bop. It's because I'm going to pump it to see if it made any difference. Well, it doesn't. All right. Let's just turn it off again. There we go. So now when I have the camera, the all-seeing an icon eye. I kind of just want to test a few things before I begin to split open this. So I'm going to use you guys and check the pressure. <clears throat> and then I have the camera set up to look at the gear just to see if it spins. Turn it on. And then activate the spindle. If anything, everything clears. Yes. So let's just go back. Is anything turning? I think so. There's still some shitty bubbles in it. Let me just loosen this up a bit. Just releasing the air through here. As you know, now eight and ten, maybe. No, sorry, it's eight.
fresh air. What about this? Well, it's acting a bit the same, so maybe the air is out. I doesn't really, I don't really see anything in the lines. So the more air coming out, we can screw this down a bit, just to finger tight. I don't believe I've seen the gear move yet. We might actually just let it run for a bit with the camera on. It's, uh, it's up on the... Uh... Wait, it's not even recording for fuck's sake. Jesus Christ. Can we remember there's a place in the manual where it describes the timer for the loop motor? Like it's supposed to loop every five hours or two hours or whatever. <coughs> 20 minutes. But I don't really see any timers. And this one. Still I don't really see any timers. Could be in the PLC board, of course. Dude, I have no clue. Maybe it's automated. Maybe it just gives a on signal. And then the timer is on this somewhere. I don't really know if I should be able to see the, the gear move, you know. Just by the looks of the mechanism, it just seems like an arm pulling up. And small cam mechanism, so it just kind of looks like an offset gear of sorts. Like it would make sense if it were a timer, and then let's say every 20 minutes it would turn on for whatever, or just turn on a full revolution, and then move the cam, would push this up, and so forth, so forth. But I have no clue. <sighs> oh, yeah, I'm going to. Stop it. Reset. Thank you. Let's turn it off. So loud. So loud. Oh! You see that? Well, I'll be damned. Why aren't you holding pressure then? You might be. Whoa! Wait, is anything removed? I have no clue. But it's progress, dude. It's progress. <clears throat> well, thanks, camera. Well, that was an interesting turn of event. <laughs> turn off events. Well, interesting. Well, probably going to spend the next couple of days bleeding the system, or well, just taking time to bleed the system. But I love this. Well, all right. Thank you guys for coming along. Just a short video on a small project. Small project on a huge project. Well, thank you for watching.